Electricity. Washington Heights. It's amazing how in this movie singing is almost like breathing. So I want to ask you a Billy Elliot style question. What do you feel when you sing? Electricity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It, is. it yeah. really is that. Like that's such a perfect song because it is like <laughs> it is electric. It is an extension of like your deepest desires. And, and, you know, I, they say that in musicals, when you, when there's not enough words to speak, you sing. And when there's not enough words to sing, you dance. And so it's like, you know, the energy and the, the passion inside you just grows deeper and stronger and bigger in musicals. I think it's, it's, it's a, further it's an extension of all the things that you feel and experience in your head you know like a lot of us do uh, you know a lot of us feel like well if I'm not an artist I don't have I don't I don't have an artistic way of seeing the world but we really all do see a movie in our head when we go through these really special moments when we fall in love when we when we're when we're feeling down when we're it's like the end of the world and we see where the protagonist of our own you know narrative or our own story and in musicals you really get to experience the magic of that through song and dance so yeah I feel (laughs) joyful uh sometimes I feel very exposed like naked like I'm I'm showing my heart and soul it feels very healing uh uh, it feels uh uh nurturing and healing and hopefully that that healing and nurturing will be sent out to the audience that's that's listening and hearing and and seeing what's happening on the screen for me personally whenever i'm singing like olga said it's kind of like you're bearing it all you're just putting it all out there um i think for me sometimes there's a sense of confidence that kind of comes along with it because you are just putting it all out there for everyone and um but I think kind of like for Sonny, he does a lot more rapping than singing. And I think when it's rapping, the things he's rapping about aren't, it's, you know, he's rapping about politics in one of the scenes, um, which is not something that you would typically hear, but it's something that he does. And I think he does it well. And when he's rapping, he puts a lot of emotion and infliction on the words that really mean something. And it really like drives it forward. Well, Valentina... I- Gregory's talking about rapping, but that rapping that you do in the film, just like any piece of music, the syncopation, that, that, that hits the heart. And it's the purest, the music is the purest conveying manner of conveying like an emotion. And that's why it, it hits you the way it does. Like you, you can listen to a song that you heard when you were a teenager and it can it takes you back to exactly the moment that you, you know, it, 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 it makes alive all of the senses. And I think that in the delivery system that we have here of the musical, that this pureness can get to the heart. And, and that's why I, I, I love the fact that we can have these moments of syncopation and paciencia and fe that Olga <laughs> is, was able to do on, on the screen, which, which, which conveys such emotion and, and intimate and big things, too. It's, it's a beautiful way to, con- pureness, to convey pureness. Kevin says to his daughter that this is the moment you do better than me because you see a future I can see. Uh, how can we do it? How can we always see a future? I think it's in seeing the value of what we can learn from our previous generations, taking, you know... Uh, our, our ancestors, our family members, our, our mothers, our fathers, our grandparents, our aunts, our uncles, they leave us with the best of them. Um, and, and, and sometimes we focus on a lot of the things that, you know, we're burdened by that our parents weren't able to do that maybe if we, they could have, we would be in a better place, but we have to take the best of them because, um, 
that's where we can carry it over whatever we do have and and give the best of us to the next generation right that's what it's all about and that's what uh you know we discover in the character of nina where she she sees she wants to go back to sanford to pay forward all that sacrifice that her dad makes for her um to do the same thing for someone like sunny you know and and stay in the ring like jimmy smith says um so i think that's what that's what us young people we gotta do we gotta stay in the ring and and with movies like this you know like it's so important to see it and, and a great way of seeing it, of, of giving hope to the younger generations is through mainstream media. You know, television shows and movies have a great power to change narratives and change mindsets and inspire the young generations. And, you know, little kids are going to see this movie, especially little kids in the Latinx community are going to see this movie and feel so powerful and feel so proud and know that there's a space for them and that their voices matter. So I think that's another way to like make them feel confident and see a bright future. It's a special moment for me as an actor because Lynn and John who were there during during that, it, it was very important for them. It wasn't, that was something that wasn't really in the play that was, it was important for them to convey. It's something that that every new wave of, whether you're an immigrant or you migrate from one part of a country, you become part of a new community you want for your children, you want for your, for your community to do better. And that moment when you realize that there's a possibility that it can happen is just, uh, I, I, I saw it in my parents' eyes. I see when I see, when I see my kids do things that I never expected the, the possibility, the, the, the sparkle that you get. I feel like, especially the people in this community, you have to be in the present. The, the, the moment is now, uh, but you always have to plan for your, for your future and have it in the back of your mind. I think these characters in this movie, they you know, they, they struggle. It's a day to day struggle and they're doing the best they can and life throws things at them, but they, no matter what, they always find that moment to dream and to, and to dream for their future and to, and to hope and to have the hope. If you don't have hope, then, you know, you have nothing. But um, I think it begins with the present moment being in the present, but always, having that that hope and that faith of uh, that that the future will be better i think just like outside of in the heights thinking about the future it's kind of like like olga said living in that present though but i think something like in the heights is the future and we're, we're just kind of really you know like like Corey had said before uh you know the idea of like we're not just we're not just opening the door we're busting it open and we're, and we're coming <laughs> strong Okay, thank you so much. Great work, guys. You are amazing. Bye.